Good morning and welcome to Sawdust and Lug Nuts. In today's episode, we're going to be loading up a little Barracuda and running it up uh, mid state. I gave a 65 Barracuda to my nephew Jesse at uh, Knowles Family Garage and he wants to get the old girl running. I just don't have time. Uh, I got the Challenger, I've got my C10, and I'm looking at a couple other uh, projects that are a little further along than the CUDA. So we're gonna go get the CUDA loaded up. I've got the trailer uh, hooked on. I'm backed into the bank. Make it easier than pulling ramps. We'll bring it around and throw it right on the trailer right there. Let's go look at the old CUDA. This here is the 65 Barracuda that I'm gonna give Jesse. A guy started to restore it, tore it all apart, and then uh, never put it back together. This is a 65. And that right there is a 64. And they're pretty much the same, but they're a little different. So what I was going to do is take all the parts, all the interior parts out of the 64 and put it back in the 65. This little 65 Barracuda has a 273 Commando numbers matching V8. It's what came in these little buggers uh, right off the showroom floor. Um, it looks pretty complete. It's got the distributor, uh, carburetor, alternator, and I, I have got it to turn over. So I'm pretty confident that Jesse can get this uh, original engine to run if he really wants to, or he may just throw something else in it. I know he's got a 360 that he's thinking about putting in it. But these uh, old uh, Barracudas, I mean, they were they were a pretty cool car in their time. Uh, they have a real distinguished back window, the bubble back window. Now, this 64 here, it's a shame because there's a guy out in Nevada that had five of these. They were all lined up in his backyard and a kid walked by and threw a rock through the back window of all of them. All the other glass is good. He threw a rock through the bubble back window. I guess that bubble back window just looked uh, too enticing <laughs> and the kid walked by and just chink, chink, chink. It's a shame. Door needs some love. I wonder if that's an AC car. That is an AC car. That's crazy. This old girl here has got the push button transmission. Back in the day, Mopar, in their wisdom, I don't know why, but they had a push button transmission. And this car here is that particular model. Right here's your transmission. First, second, drive, neutral, and reverse. Car in this condition just takes a lot of work, a lot of effort, and a lot of time. I just don't have the time. I'm so busy in the wood shop. I got the Challenger I'm working on. I've got a 72 uh, short box over there that I've neglected for three or four years. I'd like to see these cars in the hands of somebody that's actually going to do something with them and give them the love that they need and the attention. I just don't have the time. And I know that Jesse and Ken will get these things running and they're going to a good home. And a 65 Barracuda is just not the car I want to dump a bunch of time and money into. So both of these will eventually get up to Monroe where Jesse lives uh, right now. We're gonna just concentrate on loading the 65. I gotta pick up a unit of lumber up around Richfield area. So I figured why not throw a CUDA on, take it up, kill two birds with one stone. I'm going with the trailer anyway. Looks like we got uh, one out of four tires that's flat. So we're gonna have to uh, pump up a tire to get the old girl rolling. So here's a question for you. I don't know how many uh, Mopar purists are watching, but Jesse has been throwing the idea around of putting a 5.3 LS in this thing. Is that something that you would uh, sanction or is that 
something is taboo leave a comment let us know what you're thinking stay original or throw an ls in it a lot of guys nowadays feel like an ls is the answer to everything an ls would uh <laughs> make this thing go it's a pretty light car an ls has got plenty of power to push that down the road uh, myself i like to stay um, original mopar let us know what you're thinking ls or stay original so tony and i are gonna load up the barracuda i'll start the skid let's throw a ball on that so tony's gonna hook a toe strap on the old girl and i'll yank it around with the skid and we'll push it on on so I'll pull you up square you up and then push you back on Perfect. that should work in theory that should work so yeah we'll see if Tony can back <laughs> backwards we don't have to worry about the hood flying over. That's true. How much room have I got to go that way? Six feet. Six feet? Get her strapped down and uh, get on the road. This is a poor man car hauler ratchet strap. Just put the loop back through itself. Get it over the tire. You see all the serious car haulers. They all have a strap that goes over the wheels. And they strap the wheels to the trailer because if you strap anywhere on the body, you're bouncing. It just works the straps and loosens them, but the wheel is, is dead x So you get that tight, the body can do whatever, and you're gonna, you're gonna ride a lot better. All right, one Mopar loaded, headed down the road. We're here, girls. We're here at Jesse's. There he is, him and Kian. What are you girls up to? We're just standing out here waiting for you guys. <laughs> so just go up, turn around. Yeah, and go up and turn around and we'll just back my truck up and pull it off back there real sweet. quick. Sweet. Is your tiller out of the way? Yeah, we moved the tiller so we don't pop any tires this time. I ran over his tiller <laughs> last time and oh, ran the tine right through the tire, a brand new tire. That's what I should take home right there. No. That Camaro? Oh yeah. How about a van, Cars? No. Nope. You want no. a van? No, that's How about an old square body? Yes. Now that's sexy right I there. Okay, well we made it. Got Jesse with uh, Noel's family garage and Ken, his son. He gets the second uh, Barracuda. Jesse's getting the first one. Heck yeah, we're gonna try getting this thing running here pretty quick. And then I around. found there's four more in Pahrump really? if you need parts, yeah. Heck yeah, we'll all back up and we'll hook a strap on it and pull it off. Get some... You anxious to get yours? Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, what are you gonna put in it? What motor? Um, I don't even know yet. Maybe a 440. Dad. Yeah. Do you wanna press that button? What's it doing? Oh, I just wanna... There's my cameraman. Thank you, Cars. You're welcome. Yeah, there's... Yeah. You guys ready to do this? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Let's get this old girl off of here. All right, what do you think? You think that's lined up good enough? I think so. I'll pull it slow. Tell me where. 
Keep her straight. Go. Whoa, whoa. 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 It's stuck. Dad, it's stuck right here. Don't get, don't get by it. Maybe move that ramp there. This one? Yeah. Let some pressure off. Now go. Now go. I got this ramp pushed down. <laughs> that didn't go as planned. No. <laughs> so you're gonna build this on your channel? Yeah, I'm going to. For so sure. what's the name of your channel? Knowles Family Garage. Sweet. So Everybody come check it out and we'll start building this thing. Okay. Well, we got her offloaded and uh, it's in Jesse's hands now, so. Yeah, we'll get working on it and see what we can get done. We'll go get the other one here shortly and bring it down. Heck. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.